Hey folks, uh, happy Thursday. I hope that the week is treating you well. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed the short films on Tuesday. I hope that you were able to get, you know, some, some, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed them. I hope that, that you were able to kind of like see how even films in short capacity can produce and provide kind of a long lasting effect, or at least going to make you consider or think or get lost, right? All of these themes by which we're starting to emerge and think about perhaps in film in different ways. So uh, with that, I do want to introduce today's video uh, movie. Um, sorry about the ringing there. Um, but I do want to introduce today's video and I also want to say a little bit more about the discussion board post as you see there. So as I indicated last week in class, the film for today is Parasite. And reasons for this, aside from I think it providing um, many themes worth, worth engaging with, um, one of my main motivations here for like the first full length movie to watch for the course is due to Parasite winning um, the best picture award from last year's Oscars, right? And this goes back to our conversations on axiology last week, where when we think about value and we think about subjective and objective value, I mean, of course, there's a big business, there's a big production and movie review and movie critic, um, and as movie critics, right? And, you know, there's organizations that are put in place to try to like measure films and their merit. And apparently, right, last year, uh, the Academy um, chose Parasite as the best picture over a handful of other films. So, you know, I think that with going that, with going into kind of watching Parasite with that in mind, uh, I encourage you to kind of like see if it holds to maybe the merit that of, of winning a best picture award, right? Or um, you know, are there themes that, that seem, you know, too complex or seem too simplistic or, you know, um, there, there are certain aspects of the film that don't, that don't hold together, okay? So with that, um, I, I do hope that, that you watch it. And if you've seen Parasite before, I encourage you to watch it again. Um, that goes for any movie in this class. If there's a movie that you have seen, I encourage you to watch it again for the fact that um, part of the experience of the class itself is to watch these movies in kind of congruent fashion. And I, I myself am on board with that. Okay? Uh, like I also will watch a lot of these movies and um, uh, I will watch all of these movies again as we move through the course so they stay kind of like fresh and present on the mind. So um, yeah, enjoy Parasite. Um, for those that are a little squeamish, um, there are some aspects of the film that might be a little difficult to watch. Um, I don't know what else to potentially say there other than, you know, luckily being able to watch this at your own pace, maybe you have the ability to like pause it, return to it later and stuff like that. But um, there are some moments of the class, or there are some moments of the film that might be, again, particularly a little uncomfortable or a little um, um, hard to watch at times. But again, this experience in film goes back to themes that we started out last week, thinking about epistemology, thinking about value, thinking about metaphysics, and thinking about, you know, how do films influence us? How do films, you know, show us things about the world or influence ways of thinking about the world that we maybe otherwise wouldn't have been exposed to? And that goes again to motivation of choosing this one for the fact that it is from South Korea, um, which I've never been to South Korea, maybe some of you have, but I'm not too all familiar with uh, the culture of South Korea, maybe some of you are, um, but seeing, you know, even it being a foreign film, if there are themes that connect perhaps uh, to realities that we're more familiar with here in the States. So anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy Parasite. Um, I mean, enjoy, I, 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 again, that's a kind of subjective word to use, right? But um, I hope you get something out of watching Parasite, okay? All right, and as for the discussion board, as you can see, you all are in group A or group B. I mean, you know which group you're in from, which day is designated for you to come to class. And in those discussion board posts, uh, you should have access, excuse me, 
Uh, you should have access to, again, participate, respond, and you can see the various prompts that I want you all to respond to here. Um, introduce yourself to your fellow group members, uh, what your, what's your year in college, your major, hometown, and what's your favorite film and why. Um, how does the uh, discipline of philosophy and potential viewing of films intersect? Is watching films and discussing them a worthwhile way of engaging in philosophical topics? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And out of the short films and the major length film assignment this week, which did you like most and why? What are the philosophical themes presented in some of these assigned films? So again, um, paying close attention to, to what it is you're experiencing, not just what you like and dislike, but again, themes that seem to be connective to uh, philosophical undertones. Okay? And a little bit about how this will work grading-wise is essentially like the discussion board should carry over Thursday kind of on to Friday. So you can see that I have discussion board activity should occur within like a 24-hour window from the first post. So if the first post comes at, you know, 11 or even earlier in the morning on, a thir on Thursday today, uh, you know, kind of that discussion continuing for about a full day's length. Okay? Thus, it makes the most sense to stay active and uh, on it throughout the day, checking in intermittently and posting wisely and diligently. So, again, like, as you think about how these discussion, bo por pardon me, discussion board posts will be graded, is if, like, you know, I get on and I'm like, hey, great post, James. Cool. I liked it, too. And then, like, I'm done for the day. Uh, you will not receive, you know, uh, high scores to that kind of level of activity. Rather, you know, something along the lines of, hey, great post, Sarah. Like, um, great post, Sarah. I totally agree with you. The parasite dealt with these things, X, Y, and Z. However, I didn't find them as compelling as some other things. Right? Just like starting a dialogue, starting a discussion, because that's what this class is for. And I think one way that this class can be even better is through that discussion. Okay? So again, posting wisely, posting energetically, posting thoughtfully um, is the way to go about uh, being active on this discussion board. If you join the discussion board, like let's say you forget, because some of you might forget to post. Um, if you forget to post and you're like, oh no, and it's like Friday evening and you jump on and you're like, hi everybody, oh no, I like the films too, um, you're not going to receive credit. Okay, so again, part of the assignment is staying within this kind of like 24 to 36 hour time frame, okay, um, and, and being active in that time frame about the particular films and the particular subjects. So I hope this makes sense. Let me know if it doesn't. Uh, feel free to email me. Um, but again, um, uh, enjoy, if that's the right word, uh, the film for today, and I hope that you do find it worthwhile to engage with it. So... Um, yeah, and then next week we will pick up with and discuss metaphysics and identity and language and time a little bit more kind of concretely, all under the heading of, of uh, metaphysics. Sorry, uh, I don't have my syllabus right in front of me. And yeah, so I will see you all in class next week uh, on your designated days, and if you, I will see you next week on your designated days if you want to come to class. Okay? Um, otherwise, I will see you when I see you. All right, good luck out there. Stay safe. Ciao.